Okay, Bismillah ar Okay, folks, welcome back. We are looking at multiplying with decimals today. So the first part of the session is decimal numbers times by whole numbers, and how we deal with these kind of questions and the ones which are decimal by decimal as well. So we start off with the simpler ones first. By myself, this is Mr. Imran Iqbal from Imran Iqbal One to One Tutor on YouTube, and I'm here with my learn plus class on a Monday. Okay, well, let's get started. So we have 6.8 times by 5 is the first example. So let's have a look. Now when you set that out, you set that out in the traditional way as a short multiplication question like this. Now, if you look over here, it says the rules count the total number of decimal places in the question. So, if we count the total number of decimal places in the question, I have 1. 1 decimal place in my question, because there's no decimal places here. Rule 2 says the number of decimal places in the question will be the same in the answer. So I've got one decimal place in my question. I will also have one decimal place in my answer. Lovely. So here's one. So I will have one here. So let's have a look at this question. Mr. Rion, have you pay attention, please, So if you have 8 times by 5, that will give us 0 carry 4. 6 times by 5 is? 30, add the 4 is 34. So the final answer actually is 34, but for the sake of our mathematics, it's 34 point out here. But the final, final answer would just be 34, because that's what it simplifies down to. Next question. Still on, uh, on a simple multiplication question. We're not doing long multiplication, short multiplication here. Next example, 2.37 times by 6. Let's write that out in the standard format. Now, what we need to do, we need to count the number of decimal places. So it's 1, 2. We have two decimal places in the question, so we will have two decimal places in the answer. That is according to the rule number 2. We count the decimal places in. Let me make a statement. So in my answer, I'm going to have one, two. Two decimal places in the answer. So let's go. Mr. Rion, we have seven times by six. What is seven times by six, Rion? Forty-two. Forty-two. Carry the four. Three times by six is next is? Eighty-eight. Add four. Twenty-two. So two times by six is twelve. Twelve add two is? 14. 14. Give me one moment. There's somebody at the door. 